Hello, hello, hello to all of my boss buddies. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're doing wonderful today. Listen, I wanted to stop by and do a quick video update. Um, I know some of my boss buddies may not know and some do, but I wanted to stop by and give you a briefing of an incident that happened at our church on July the 3rd. Um, well, actually, it was July the 4th. Um, it was the morning leading into the 4th. And, um, well, I received a phone call, um, shocking phone call, um, around 3 o'clock in the morning um, from the Greenville Police Department telling me that um, someone needed to get to the location and secure the building because someone had ran into um, the building. And I'm like, what do you mean someone has ran into the building? They was like, we need somebody to get here to secure the building because someone has stolen a vehicle from the garage next door. And they came through the fence of the garage next door, not realizing that the vehicle did not have brakes on it. And the um, vehicle slammed through the fence of the business on the side of us and then it came and slammed into the back side of our church yeah you heard me right the vehicle went all the way not all the way in the building um to the other side but it did go into the building to cause quite a bit of damage and i want you guys to stay tuned for a little bit because i'm going to show you some graphic pictures of what took place um during this incident okay so um i got there my husband and i we live an hour away i got there um to the incident i had already called my son which was closer at the time to where the incident actually happened i called him and told him to get to um the church so that he can find out what was going on so by the time my husband and i get there we grab boards and his drill and different things we think we may need to secure the building and when we get there to our surprise we find out there's a gigantic hole in the middle of the building okay so what we thought we were going there to do was secure a small hole and get back to the next morning of enjoying our fourth of july like everybody else does but to our surprise the hole was enormous and we were not able um, to cover it up like we thought we would okay so the back room that was destroyed was the room that we have for our homeless shelter the room where we house all of our um, surplus items for the church um, you name it we had it in that room and the vehicle destroyed 95 percent of the stuff that was in that room and what wasn't destroyed was um stolen by people that came into the building because we were able unable to secure the building and by the time um someone was called to uh secure the building which was after the holidays nobody was working during the holidays and it was on a weekend we had to wait until the next business day by this time um, our business had been broken into um, in that room and different items were stolen and further destroyed and so you know it was it was a somewhat of a setback um, I had just started to do my um, classes where we were exercising and doing fitness classes I had just started to do that about a week or two prior to this incident happening and um, so it put us at a setback. But how many of you know that just because you're delayed does not mean you're denied? So thank God for insurance and thank God for people um, at the church, my family mainly, that came and helped us get the debris um, up and out of the church. We still have some stuff we gotta get done but long story short they had to end up tearing the entire back room off of the church so that it could be rebuilt so we're in the process of rebuilding on the back of the church and 
just have had some setbacks but nevertheless we're still on the move we're still moving and shaking we're still doing things in the community so i just wanted to give you guys a brief update of what was going on and also you guys wouldn't believe this 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 is the juicy part of the story okay you guys wouldn't believe this okay so i um was leaving the church one night we were actually i want to say we were decorating for my son's um birthday gala i think that's what we were doing but anyway whatever the case was we were leaving out of the church and i found out there was a young lady there's a hotel that is located behind our church and i found out there was a young lady that um had put the incident on a gofundme page she had made a gofundme page saying that she was helping the church rebuild the wall now mind you guys mind you boss buddies and those of you that are on my channel hopefully you've stuck and stayed to this part of the video if you're on this channel for the first time please like share comment and do subscribe um so that you can continue to get great information like this and all my business hauls and different things that i do on my channel you will be the first one to be notified okay so the hotel is behind our church so mind you i do not know any of the people personally that stay there this young lady took it upon herself to set up a gofundme page to and i need to check that page y'all i sent a message to the gofundme administrator letting them know that it was a bogus page it was a fictitious page and the person that created it created it without my knowledge and without my consent so i never went back to follow up to see if the page was removed but um anyway i ended up talking to the young lady that night after um we were leaving church really late in the night um and she was walking through the parking lot and i questioned her i said i just received information because okay let me back it up a little bit she even though i didn't know her personally she did come to our ministry one Sunday and ask for help. She needed some money and she needed a ride and she needed um, stay for that night at the hotel. She needed money for the stay that night. So I have laid my eyes upon her, but I did not know her personally. So when I got no, um, news that she had did this and I seen her walking through the parking lot, I said I had gotten information that you had started a GoFundMe page. And she said, yes, I was just trying to help the church and da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Listen, lady, okay, stop the nonsense. I know people are used to people in church believing lies and believing the hype, but boss buddies, birthing bosses with Felicia was not going for that. First of all, if you were going to help the church, how was it that you had your own personal bank account set up with this gofundme you did not have any of the church information you did not have the church's permission i am the pastor you did not have my permission to set up that gofundme page so you guys she promised me that she was going to take it down and she apologized she was just trying to help and i kindly let her know that i knew she was a scam artist and to go and take that down because we had insurance and the insurance would take care of everything that we needed it to do so you guys like i said this was a crazy story it might be boring to some of you guys but i want you to know that it has been a very adventurous story um, for kingdom embassy nation church international and people have seen the debris in the parking lot they've seen the bricks in the parking lot wondering have we closed wondering have we moved no we are still there now we're still having church but there is going to be construction in the middle of the parking lot but listen guys reconstruction is for the rebuilding <laughs> of greater i promise you greater is coming and everything that was already in progress is going to be moving forward very soon stick and stay with us you guys i'm going to go ahead and end this video make sure you like share comment and subscribe don't just look at the video but i need your interaction and i definitely need you to like okay be blessed you guys until the next video bye bye